Hello everybody, welcome to my kitchen. I'm Darina, here to share with you a dish that is perfect for like, I don't know, actually any day, even though today's a little gloomy, but it is a great dish. So we're gonna make a quick pasta dish. You can make this anytime, um, very quickly, as long as you have the ingredients and it's not hard to keep these ingredients on hand. So here's to getting you back to the table with a really good dish. So what we are making is pasta with sausage and mushrooms. Now, I have this beautiful pasta here from Italy. I brought home with me. Marco and Leo Falcone, my friends. This is the pasta they grow on the wheat on the side of our mountain and then have it made into traditional shapes here for us. So this is troffie. These little skinny twisty things are awesome. Okay, that's one thing. Then we've got Italian sausage, which I've already taken out of the casing and just, you know, stuck here in the blobs, but I did cut a few slices because we're going to have some that's kind of broken up that'll spread around the dish, but I'd like a few chunks in there. And then I've got um, shiitake mushrooms. You can use porcini, you can use portobello, you can use whatever kind of mushrooms you like. This is what I happened to have and I thought, hmm, I've got these, I just got these in my veggie box. So I've got some nice organic sausage and mushrooms. So I thought, you know, I have a little cream left in the fridge so I thought this is perfect and I had one last this is my last bag of the trophy from Rosetto so I'm going to have it today with me and Pasquale have a nice lunch so first thing we're doing is I've already got my pot of water on so I'm going to go ahead and take the lid off of that okay, I'm back okay we're going to throw a little salt in here actually a good Hefty, whoops, a little too much. A little tablespoon there. Okay, I'm gonna stir that around just so my salt is all in the nice water. Now, I'm only putting in a half a bag of this because it's only the two of us, so I only need half a bag. That's about half a pound. You really don't want much more than that. So I'm just gonna eyeball it here. Let's do a couple more. This will be another lunch for us. My last bag, but it's two meals for the, oops, for the two of us. So let me just give that a quick stir around. Mmm, I love them. All right, now we're going to start our sauce. You know, they say pasta can never wait for the sauce, but the sauce can always wait for the pasta. But while the pasta is cooking, and because this is um, really good, like homemade kind of nice and dense pasta. It takes like maybe an extra minute to cook than your store-bought stuff that's really, you know, not as good as this stuff. Okay, so I've got my pan on. We're gonna start with a little bit of olive oil. Nice drizzle here. Some good extra virgin olive oil. I did turn it for a minute. I'm like, did I turn that on? I did. I'm just gonna let it warm up a little bit. I don't want it on too hot because I don't wanna, I just want it to be a nice medium cook here. So we're gonna go ahead and, actually we're gonna start with, I'm gonna throw in one clove of garlic, actually with the skin on it, we're just gonna throw it in and let it flavor the oil real quick. This is not a garlic dish, um, so it's not one that you, you know, throw, uh, actually what I'm gonna do is give it a little, little crack. We're gonna let that just kind of flavor the oil, have a little oil, garlic eat oil. Um, and then we're gonna let that go for a second. Make sure those aren't sticking in that first bit. All right, get my garlic in there. And now we're gonna go ahead and toss in our sausage. So this is the sausage that's broken up already. And these are the chunks. I want the chunks to kind of cook a little bit chunks, but I like some bigger pieces in my dish, you know. So it gives you like a combination of some people, and in fact, a lot of people in this particular, move that out of the way there. A lot of people in this particular dish will do it all with the sausage broken up, like the ground sausage. You can use, you can buy the ground sausage that is already, um, you know, not in casings, or you can take it all out of the casing. But I do like tongs here. I do like um, you know some bigger, a few big, a few bigger pieces. 
but it's purely up to you. And you can leave the pieces in the skin, you can take them out of the skin, you can cook it first and then slice it up and throw them in. So there's, you know, it's all up to you what you feel like doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my chunks here and leave them on this side. They're kind of like framing the rest of it. A little piece of garlic. And I'm just gonna finish breaking this up. Now sausage has already got a lot of flavoring in it. It's got salt in it, it's got pepper in it and stuff, and fennel, fennel seed if it's, well, depending if you have that kind. So I'm not gonna put too, too much. I'm gonna put a little bit of, little extra pepper, black pepper. I like a good brown black pepper. And then once we're done and the sauce is all done, then I will, um, you know, test case it, see if it needs any more salt. All right, so very quickly here, I'm gonna let that go. While well, that's cooking, I'm going to go ahead and slice up my mushrooms. I'm just going to... Oh. Now you can leave them big like this, you can cut them in half, you can do them however you like, but they're so pretty when they're the whole shape of the mushroom, you know? I just like to make sure the sausage is mostly done before I um, put in the rest of the stuff so I can make sure I can see the pink. And the mushroom, you know, the sausage is oozing its flavors into the oil along with my piece of garlic that's floating around here. I'm just leaving it there for now. But I am going to pull that garlic out. I'll eat it later. It'll be a snack. I'll eat it just before Pascal wants to kiss me. <laughs> All right. Let's put these beautiful mushrooms in. Ah, you know, he loves mushrooms. I put them, throw them all in. There we go. They're going to break down anyway. Find a piece that's a little pink, just turn it over. And you can make it, you know, you can really, like, before I put the mushrooms in, I could have taken my chopper thing and made the sausage really fine. And it does, it spreads the flavor around a lot when it's really fine like that. But I kind of like it chunky. Make it the way you like. I like it both ways. So you can break up the pieces if you want. The mushrooms are already, look at how pretty there. The mushrooms are already starting to kind of shrink down a little bit. And now I'm going to, actually I think I'm going to add just a smidge more. This is such a good tasting olive oil that I'm going to go ahead and add that little bit more. And now I'm going to add a little white wine to, as they say, deglaze the pan. It gets all the sticky stuff off the bottom, which is really where all the flavor is. Maybe a drop more. Okay, not too much. Probably like a quarter cup, you know. Two splashes, two swigs. Actually, you know what we should do? Well, we'll do it after. I'll pour some glass of wine when I'm tasting this, because this is really good with a nice glass of white wine. Now, I've seen this actually done with like a a little bit of red wine too. It goes good with the sausage. But anyway, all right. I'm gonna put the, crank this heat up a little bit now. Oh God, that's heavenly. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I have my truffle oil from Italy. From Italy, this is real, real good. So I'm gonna put a little drizzle of that in. Trofie con salsiccia e funghi e tartufo. That's trophia with sausage and mushrooms and truffle. Okay. Oh, yeah, see the wine flavor is mixing in nice here. All right, let me test one of these babies. Oh. <laughs> Another minute. Almost. They have floated to the top. But they're still a little bit too al dente. By the time this is ready, those will be ready. But I like to make sure my sausage is nice and cooked. And look at the mushrooms are soaking in the flavor. Now, the secret ingredient 
Well, Kyle, I don't know if the, which one's the secret ingredient. I think the heavy cream's the secret ingredient, because I just told you about that. But anyway, we're going to put just a little drizzle of heavy cream. Probably like two tablespoons worth. Actually, this you should put in at the very last. So we're going to just wait a minute. Now, this is not really liquidy because most of the, you know, just had oil in it and the sausage juice and the, um, and the wine. But a lot of the wine cooks out, you know, while it's going. We have just enough juice here with a little bit of cream. But we're going to use a little bit of the pasta water once it's ready um, to get, add a little more moisture to it. So, there you go. Mmm. Can I tell you how heavenly this, oh my God, this smells so good. I don't know what it is about, it's something about sausage and mushrooms that go so well together. It's really yummy. I hear noises from behind Pasquale's office door. I think he's, he loves anything with mushrooms in it. He really does so. And he loves this dish. But I haven't cooked the trophy in a while because I've been saving this one last Let's see if it's ready. I'm getting, you can you tell I'm getting like, I want it now. Mmm. Mmm. They're almost ready, but they're still good. <laughs> because they're wound really tight, so you gotta make sure the inside is just a little bit al dente. You don't want it too al dente. They're perfectly salted, so I don't think I'm gonna need any salt at all in this dish. You really have to pay attention. When you are cooking your pasta, your pasta needs flavor, and it needs that good tablespoon of salt in the, in the pasta water. And you don't want to over, you want just enough water in the pot that the, that the pasta can float around a little and not stick together. But, um, and don't put oil. Do not waste good olive oil in your pasta water. It's absolutely unnecessary. Okay. Make sure nothing is stuck, nope. So we're gonna put these babies right here into the sausage pot. Actually, I can turn that off now. And we're just gonna make sure we get them all. Get a little closer here. It's so good. You know, if you don't have one of these, they're like, I don't know, five, six bucks on Amazon, 10 bucks, I don't know. But they're so worth it. So worth having. They're way better than any slotted spoon. Oops, there's one floater down there. There we go, got it. Okay. Put that there. Now we are actually going to use this because it's closed. We're going to go ahead and stir this up first. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Add just a little bit of the pasta water. Give it a little, you know, give it a little juice, but that has already your salt in it and your, um, you know, your starch from the pasta, which gives it you know, it's, it gives it the thickness. So. Okay. Mm, yeah. Just make sure it gets all stirred up and all the sauce goes around. Definitely doesn't need more of that. But you know what I think we need? Just a smidgen, a smidge more cream. Boop. Teaspoon. Now I'm just put the heat back on just to kind of thicken the last of the sauce a little bit because I put the pasta water in, which is good, but that, that gives it flavor and, and then as it cooks here, oops, sorry, oh, that was terrible. I try not to use these on this. I use it very gently when I use my metal pan. Oh, that was this. That wasn't the spoon, it was the pot on the stove top. Okay. Oh yeah, okay. So now I have these beautiful dishes here. We are going to oh, the last ingredients gotta go in. Just one last stir around. Oh, see so how the sauce just got nice and thick. So it sticks to the pasta so nice. Last thing. Little drizzle of whoops. Almost forgot. Lucky for me, it floated right to the top. It would have ended up in Pasquale's dish. I know it. my big piece of garlic. I usually take it out sooner. <laughs> We're going to do a little drizzle of the truffle oil. Teeny tiny thin stream of this. Whoop. Oh, 
Darn, I got some on my fingers. <sighs> Stir that in. And then sometimes if you want to put a little stream of it on top of the finished dish as a finishing touch, you can do that too. I don't know why my, my stove is talking to me today. <laughs> we are going to move these things out of the way, get the knife out of here. Okay. Oh, look at that. You can smell the truffle. Oh, look, a nice mushroom there on top. Oh, look at how pretty that is. Can you see it? I'm going to take a beautiful picture of it and uh, share it with you guys. Okay, another nice dish. This is Trimmy and Pasquale. So you know what? I'm going to just do one taste with you guys. A little bit of Pinot Grigio. I'll have that with my lunch. But you know, you gotta have a little bit of vino with your... So, salute everybody. Mm. Let's do a nice little taste here. Piece of sausage, piece of mushroom, and some pasta. Mmm. Mmm. That is so good. So, so good. So I encourage you to try this, enjoy it. It's a simple dish. You saw I made the sauce for the topping for the pasta while the pasta was cooking. You know, 15, 20 minutes, you've got a decadent restaurant style meal, bring the family to the table. And the next time I come on, we're gonna make a sweet. So then you'll have something to keep them there a little longer. All right. <laughs> And yes, I am having wine with my meal today because at lunchtime we have our big meal. So there you go. It's way better to eat pasta midday than it is at night. Much, much healthier for you. So anyway, have a wonderful one. I'll see you next time. Ciao. And don't forget to hit the little dingy bell up top so you know next time I come live. See you later.